Hey everybody, it's Topwater Johnny, and in this video, I'll be fishing with the Gizmo by Evergreen. Let's check it out. Whoa, there we go. Yeah! Woo, holy cow, folks. Topwater Johnny here, man. This is what we came here for. Look at that. Get back here. Look at that right there. That's the kind of beast. It's Top Water Johnny. I want to welcome you to the next video here. In this video, we'll be doing a review and you'll be seeing me fishing with the Evergreen Gizmo right there. That's the lure we're going to be fishing with. And this is the lure that we're going to do a closer look at. So let's go ahead and get started with that now. All right, everybody. Here it is. The Gizmo by Evergreen here. Just some quick specs on it here real fast. The actual length is 1.5 inches long in length. The actual weight is 3 and 64 ounces. Now, one of the things I want to show you here with this one is that it's a really light lure. And as you can see, it's got one hook right here. This is a really stout hook that runs through the entire body of the actual gizmo. But then also, well, another thing that's very unique about this is look at that right there. That is an actual weed guard that is actually protecting that hook as it actually runs through cover. And so this particular lure right here has a lot of advantages in the water column as far as when you're trying to mimic a bug or an insect right here. And I wanted to show you these unique things. As you can see, the belly is white on the bottom of it. These wings right here are very stout and they stick out, but then you have all of these other little appendages which are dangling in the water like an insect. It even has the little thorax there the, at the back of it, just like a real bug. And according to the description, this is supposed to be mimicking a actual dragonfly. So there you have it. There is the evergreen gizmo. All right. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that review of the evergreen gizmo want to get you guys a closer look at this one once again here as i mentioned before this is the evergreen gizmo right here so i want you to get a good look at this lure right here the wings like i said before very stout up here as you can see the legs are all over the place here lots of action down here in the water and it's really designed to look just like a bug or as they put it a dragonfly now I actually bought this particular lure from the let me look here from the hookup tackle and the price is running about ten dollars and ninety nine cent for this particular lure right here also another thing about it that I really liked about it was that this weed guard was right here this allowed me to go over and through a lot of lily pads a lot of that underwater grass that kind of halfway sticks up out of the water, but is right below there. And then also it has this really stout hook right here, this really stout hook. This hook penetrates and it's sharp and it's sticky and it runs the entire length of the lure, which means when you hook into a fish, you're not going to bend out because that hook is running from the front all the way to the back. And as you can see, there's that little weed guard right there as you're running across the top of weed beds and slightly submerged water. I mean, slightly submerged weeds in the water. This lure right here, it was a big surprise to me. Now, I love an insect lure. You know I fish with dragonfly lures, and I love them. But this right here, really, really, really impressive. I'm definitely going to add another one to my collection because it really does do a great job on the water. So what I wanna do now is I don't wanna waste any more time. I wanna get it out on the water. I want you to watch me fishing with it and see me putting in work catching those fish. I look forward to getting your comments, your thoughts, and your feedback on it. 
Would you fish with it? What's your thoughts about it? Please leave a comment. Please subscribe. I appreciate all of you guys. And I'll see you on the water. All right. There we go. There we go. Got that one on that gizmo. There it is, everybody. Got one on that gizmo right there. Got that bluegill. So, all right. I knew there were dragonflies out here. I knew something was going on. I hope you guys can see all these dragonflies out here. These dragonflies are out here, and so the bluegill and the bass are keying on them. And There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go, everybody. Woo! Chasing them bugs. Got him. <sighs> Got him on that gizmo. Got him on that gizmo right there. All right. There he is, right there, everybody, on that gizmo. Everybody, stop with Johnny here. Here's a nice one on that gizmo, that little bug. Those dragonflies are going crazy, and that gizmo putting in work. All right. There we go. There we go. That's what we were looking for. That's what we were looking for. There we go. There we go, everybody. Woo! That's it on the gizmo. We close it out with a nice one. Nice one on the gizmo. Look at that. Look at that. That is in his mouth. On the gizmo. All right, that's a nice one. There right, we go, everybody. Another nice one here. Well over two pounds right here. Hitting them flies. Got this one on that gizmo. All right then, no complaints. Woo! On the gizmo. Got this nice one right here. Well over a pound right here. Almost, probably almost two pounds right here. On the gizmo. That's a nice little tie war lure, boy. They were hitting them flies. And I skated this one across, and you saw it. And he hit it hard. All right. Once again, nice one right there. Hey everybody, it's Top Water Johnny. Well, that closes it out. On the gizmo right there. That little bug put in some work today and I'm really excited about it. It was a lot of fun to fish. Gotta be patient with it, what I found. Because that's a little, it's a little lure. So you're gonna get pulled by bluegill. You're gonna get pulled by all types of fish. 
But when the right fish comes along, that gizmo didn't let me down. It locked in, it held on, and allowed me to get that big bass on the bank. And that is a tiny, tiny lure, everybody. That's a tiny lure. But it's got a big, strong hook in there. When I did the hook set, it was game on. So I'm really excited about it. The, uh, the hookup tackle is where I got it from. If I didn't say it already in the earlier review of this, but this is legit. And I'll definitely be fishing with it again. You know, it's whenever those insects are on top, this is the kind of lure that will get you bit for real. And, I, and you saw it, I closed it out with that one right there. So please like, subscribe to the channel, and always remember that phrase keep your line tight. Because when they hit those top water lures, especially that gizmo, it's going to be a big bite. All right.